Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. I just wanted to show you guys last week's plan with me really quick. That was completed, and this was my collab with Inky and the Brain Esley. Um, and I love how this turned out. I love the glossy. I wish I had more glossy kits. The only thing is like the glare from not only the lights, but even natural lighting. There's a huge glare. It was so hard to take pictures of, and when I was going back and editing, like it was really hard to see. So I can't believe that February starts this week. That's just like so crazy. Like at the same time, I feel like January went by really slow, but it still went by fast. And this video is actually another collab with Zara. I will have her channel linked down below. Um, I reached out to her, I found her channel probably like a month ago now when you guys are seeing this we're gonna upload on Sunday and I reached out to her I was like hey I love your channel do you want to do a collab and she said yes so we're doing a collab using this photography kit from Mellow Paper Studio this is the first photography kit I've ever purchased so I'll just kind of show you the full boxes up close because they are gorgeous and this is her blush kit so it's kind of like a really um like a, it's not, it's kind of like a Valentine's themed kit because like it does have like the couple here and the light pinks and then the lingerie but it's not like a full on Valentine's kit which I love so this is perfect for going into February. I'll just show you guys the kit really quick. And I think that I'm gonna try to do things a little differently this week. I haven't really been that happy with how I've been planning. Um really quick so this was the mini kit and then I also added on the washi add-on because I didn't want the um, full heart checklist but anyways I haven't really been that happy with how I've been planning like I feel like I just haven't been using my planner as much as I'd like to be and I think part of it is the way I've been planning so I'm gonna try something new this week um, and I am going to do if you guys watch planning peeps videos i'm gonna kind of do what she does and so film like my plants that i have now um that i already know and then i am going to go back once or twice towards the end of the week and memory plan everything else and i think that if i do it that way um It'll make me want to use my planner a little bit more. Because um, honestly, like, I, I'm i not using it right now. I'm actually going to trim this washi down really quick. Because it is... I probably should have put this on top. Let's see if it'll come up. Um, I'm just not using my planner. And so I feel like it's kind of a waste. So I'm going to try doing it that way and see if I end up using it more. But part of it is like I don't have that many plans right now while I'm home from school. So I'm going to try it like this this week and see if that makes me use my planner more. Because I think part of it is like I want to be able to show you guys my plans on camera, like my planning on camera. And I feel like if I um, do what I, I don't know what I was saying. Um, crap, this is gonna be crooked. Okay, honestly, I think maybe I probably should have just not used the top one. But oh well, uh, it's already down, so there's nothing I can do about it. Um, this paper is really, I love this paper. It's not, um, it's different than the premium matte from My Planning Addictions. But it still feels kind of buttery like Victoria's paper. It's really nice paper though. Okay, so I hope you guys kind of get the gist of what I was trying to say. And I'm just going to go into the voiceover now. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I'm just doing after laying down my bottom washi is whiting out my dates so I can lay down the date covers. 
and also the page flags. Um, and something that I keep forgetting to mention because I feel like I'm always in a hurry to tell you guys what stickers I'm laying down is that next weekend, so February 9th, I am in a group sale, the Planner Nerds United sale. I'll have all the information linked down below. I'm going to be offering 50% off and I'm going to have all kinds of different freebies available that you can get. So be sure to join my Facebook group and follow me on Instagram for all the information on that. I'll also be posting a video later this week with um, my new releases and to show you guys all the freebies too. So um, keep an eye out for that. I still have a few new releases to finish before I do film that though. And then um, two weeks after that, I'm gonna be in the Mega Planner Attic sale also. And again, I'll have more information on that sale too. So lots of sales going on and I am getting ready to be 100% ready to ship for these sales. So you'll see in my plans, I have a lot of stuff that's like print and cut, work on stock, print and cut, like all that stuff over and over again because that was most of what I was doing this week just to get ready for the sale. And then you'll see on Friday, I did say that I was going to close the shop, but my shop is still open. Um, I'm at the point where pretty much all the stock is done. And so um, there really was no reason for me to close the shop. That llama with the money sticker is one of the new releases from my shop. It's already up in the shop. And there are seven other different llama characters. They're also available in die cuts and sticker die cuts. That Monday through Sunday tracker, this kit didn't come with any of those extras. So that's just a leftover from my spread last week from Inky and the Brain. The girl with the mail is a Luna from Shine Sticker Studio. And the toothbrush is from the Honeybee Shop. Um, the, uh, let's see, the cut sticker is from My Planning Addictions, the stethoscope is from my shop, the USPS truck is from My Planning Addictions, the Facebook is from the Honeybee Shop, and the pencil is from Inky and the Brain. Moving on to Tuesday, I used that, um, YouTube sticker from my shop to mark that I was uploading a collab plan with me, which is my last plan with me that I uploaded, and then I put down that bacon sticker, which is from my shop to mark that I was filming a breakfast cook with me, which was supposed to go up before this video, but I still haven't filmed the intro, so that'll be going up next, I believe. Then I put down a piece of washi with another leftover from Inky and the Brain, that payday sticker. Below that, I put down a glitter header. Those glitter headers are from Brianna Nicole Designs. And then I put a page flag with that dog with a camera from Sticker Sis to mark that I was filming a plan with me, which is the one you're watching here. And then at the bottom, I just put down a checklist with a to-do header on top. And above that, I'm rearranging a couple things here, but I'm gonna put down a heart little things to mark that game of games was on. And then above that, I'm putting down that half box with a homework sticker from Nightingale Paper Co. just to mark down some homework I needed to work on that day. I know when you guys are watching this video right now, I've only posted one non-planner related video, but did you guys like that? Um, because I am thinking about doing more of those, like I do have that planned. Um, I just want to know if you guys like that video or not, so I know um, what else you guys want to see on here. On Wednesday, I just put down a full box, then a to-do header, and a checklist. And then I put down another glitter header with a strip of washi. Oh, I guess I didn't do that now, did I? Um, I'm just going in and putting down the rest of my full boxes with the glitter headers on top.
Thursday, I'm putting down another one of those YouTube stickers from my shop to mark that Cook With Me I wanted to upload, and one on Sunday for this Plan With Me that you're watching now. And again, the Cook With Me on Thursday didn't end up going up, I just need to film the intro for it, and then it'll go up probably Tuesday or Wednesday. On Saturday, I'm putting down a half box vertically with a um, Luna from Shine Sticker Studio because I had a memorial service to go to. And then on Friday, I'm just putting down two strips of washi. Um, this kit didn't come with little things either and I ran out of leftover little things that matched this kit from last week's spread. So I just put down a TV over the top of it from Tiny Little Tulips and then I just marked in MacGyver and Hawaii Five-0, which are two shows that I always watch. And then I'm just filling in my dates for the top. And I did do them backwards because I wasn't sure um, what day Thursday was. At the top of Friday, I just put down this patterned half box and marked close shop at 12 p.m. But again, that didn't happen just because I was already pretty much ready to go for the sale. On Sunday, I'm just using this football sticker from my shop to mark that it was a Super Bowl, the Eagles versus the Patriots. And then here's where I finished up on Wednesday. So I just put down this strip of washi with one of those larger appointment labels over the top of it. And then I took another one of those TVs from Tiny Little Tulips just to mark that um, catfish was on. And then that was it for the first half. Going back in, I put down another one of those pattern half boxes with a um, solid quarter box and another one of those homework stickers from Nightingale Paper Co. to mark some homework I had. On Thursday, I put down a quarter box with this little um, arrow washi strip. And then I layered over the top of it this penguin from my Planning Addictions to mark that we just did some shopping. It was mostly grocery shopping, but I didn't have one at hand right then. Then I put down another one of those llamas from my shop. On Friday, that movie ticket is from Nightingale Paper Co. I marked it to watch to, I used it to mark that we watched National Treasure. And then I put down a Tomorrow header and I used three of these hearts from the kit to make a little checklist for some stuff I needed to get done. And then I just rearranged those a little bit so they were more evenly spaced out. At the top of Saturday, I just put a piece of washi there to take up some space. On Sunday, I'm using another one of these arrow strips of washi. It took me a little while to get it straight. Um, usually, I'm used to laying my stickers down starting on the left side because I'm right-handed and so it was just too hard trying to make it go the other way. That french fry sticker is from Nightingale Paper Co. I use it to mark that. Um, we were doing a little lunch, Super Bowl lunch at halftime, and then I put a to-do header and a checklist to finish it off. So that's it for this week's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to go watch Zara's video. I'll have all of her stuff linked down below. Here I'm just showing you guys the stickers that are left over, and that's it. Bye guys!